My name is Bastian Heinut. I'm a dental technician since 2002. I started working with a CAD CAM system in 2003. We started with feldspar ceramics and the Insera materials. And within the next years, we specialized ourselves in CAD CAM. This is one of the reasons why I wanted to start my own business. Therefore, we founded with two companions uh, the company Sarah Technic, which is a specialized lab in full digital dentistry. One of the reasons for in-house production for us is uh, the time issue. It's very important for us um, because of the specialty in our business that we deliver the restoration on the same day. Therefore, I need the restoration, same thing, on the same day. Second reason for in-house production is taking care of the special wishes of our customers and a milling center is not always as flexible as I need it to be. The biggest issue I see at the moment on the market is believing in the digital way, meaning the technician is trusting the digital way the same way as he does the analog way. Most important thing for me for the production is having an open system which allows me to import an SDL file for my production. Important for me is a simple handling of the machine, meaning that all of my technicians could use the system instead of hiring another CAD CAM specialist. My active role as a beta tester for the new InLab MCX5 was the intensive exchange of requirements concerning soft and hardware. The second step was testing the equipment at my lab in my daily business. My first impression during the setup was the attractive design and its small size for a 5-axis machine. The composite size of the machine was important for me, so it was easily integratable in our lab environment. The benefit of this 5-axis machine is the accuracy of fit and the workout of surfaces. In the end, it becomes more cost-effective because I have to do less adjustments on the restoration. New for me was the usage of blanks with the InLab MCX5 and furthermore the usage of glass ceramic blocks. Especially for big restoration it's very important to have the possibility to use zirconium and PMMA blanks. Also the broad material variety offers me much more possibilities. New for me is the dry milling mode for zirconium oxide in the InLab MCX5 which allows me to increase the color quality after sintering. Of course we still have the possibility of wet grinding glass ceramic blocks. Another great opportunity for us is the combination between wet and dry milling PMMA materials, which is increasing the quality of surfaces and the lifetime of instruments. Interesting for me was the usage of instruments and the possibility to create my own magazines. In our case, we installed two magazines, one magazine for dry milling zirconium oxide and one magazine for the combination between dry and wet grinding and milling, in, for example, PMMA and glass ceramic blocks. Maybe important for you to know is that each magazine has six places for instruments. In this case, we have three instruments for each material. In this case, it's for grinding glass ceramic materials and the other three instruments is for milling PMMA materials. In my second magazine, I have three instruments for milling zirconium oxide. Because I only need three tools, I have the possibility to install replacement tools in case of a wear out of an instrument, the machine would automatically take the replacement tool. In case I want to use the glass ceramic blocks, I have to use the multi-block holder. This allows me to install up to six ceramic blocks in the same holder. In a case like this, I could for example grind overnight six veneers without interacting with the machine. For cleaning the milling chamber, we use the connected suction system. You have the possibility to import STL in the CAM module, at the moment our lab has no usage for this tool because our lab is running mainly on Serona products. The advantage of this CAM module is the storage of CAM data and the block administration which even allows me to keep my CE standards. Very important for me is the standardized milling process which allows me to keep the best milling result. Also important for me is positioning the restorations within the block, having no limitations here and positioning my connectors wherever I want them. As a summary of my beta testing, I would like to exponate the accuracy of the machine and the new possibilities due to the material variety. I'm glad having the InLab MCX5 in my lab because it's completing my daily business.